Hi everyone, welcome to our physics video on working principles of AC generator. This electric car is a good example of how the generator is used in real life. Do you know that the generator will continue to charge the batteries of this car while I'm on the road? Let's go and find out. This is the electric machine which can function both as a generator and a motor inside an electric car. In motor mode, the current flows from the batteries to the electric machine, causing the car to move. When we apply the brakes, current stops flowing from the batteries to the motor and the electric machine now operates in the generator mode, while the wheels of the electric car are still moving before coming to a stop. It turns the rotor of the generator which starts generating current to charge the batteries. We can also find such electric machines which functions both as generators and motors in our electric buses. Now, let's go to the studio and learn about the physics behind generators. This is a simplified AC generator demonstration kit. It shows how turning the coil of an AC generator in the presence of a magnetic field induces alternating current as captured by the galvanometer. The change in the direction of the pointer of the galvanometer indicates the changing direction of the current. Have you ever wondered how this is so? In this video, I will be explaining the working principles of an AC generator by applying the concepts of interaction of magnetic fields. To better understand the working principles of an AC generator, let's start by knowing the components of a single coil AC generator. Do note that this is just a simulator kit that helps us to visualize the workings of an AC generator. In real life, a single coil AC generator will not be able to produce enough electricity for our daily use. This single coil AC generator consists of slip rings, a single coil, permanent magnets, external circuits, and carbon brushes. When we turn the coil, Induced current flows as shown in the flowing simulation. In the examples of electric cars and electric buses, the turning of the coil is affected by the turning of the wheels. Let me show you the close-up view of the flow of current from one slip ring of the coil to the carbon brush, to the galvanometer, to the other carbon brush, to another slip ring, then back to the coil. So how is current induced in an AC generator? Let's first recap on what we have learned about forces acting on a current-carrying conductor in the region of magnetic field. In our previous video on electromagnetism, we learned that a current-carrying conductor produces a magnetic field. This magnetic field will interact with the magnetic field from the permanent magnets placed near it to produce a resultant magnetic force which causes the conductor to move. In this demonstration, we are going to use the same concepts of interacting magnetic fields to explain how the magnetic forces generated acts on the charges inside the AC generator's coil when we turn the coil in the region of magnetic field. Here I have a simulator of an AC generator. Let's focus on one charge in the coil. When I turn the coil, the charge moves through the path as shown. This is like a conventional current moving upwards. A magnetic field is also generated around the charge as shown by the concentric circles. Let us superimpose the magnetic field from the permanent magnet with these fields from the charge moving up to deduce the resultant magnetic force direction. As you can see in region A, both magnetic field directions are the same. Hence, the magnetic field strength is stronger. In region B, the magnetic field directions are opposite to each other the magnetic fields cancel each other out and become weaker. With the superposition of the magnetic fields, we can see the resultant magnetic field is stronger at region A than other regions. The interaction of the magnetic fields explains the direction of the resultant magnetic force. The direction can also be found by using Fleming's left-hand rule. 
The magnetic force acting on the charge causes the charge to move along the coil in the direction shown. Hence, the induced current is also moving in the same direction as the magnetic force direction as shown. We can use Fleming's right-hand rule to get the direction of induced current in the coil as a shortcut. By placing Fleming's right-hand rule against the single coil, the induced current can be deduced as shown. Do note that using Fleming's right-hand rule does not explain conceptually how the current is induced. What we have learned so far is that by applying the concept of interacting magnetic fields, we are able to explain the presence of magnetic force acting on the charges. The force will then drive the charges to move, hence bringing about induced current. In our next video, we will use the concepts of interacting magnetic fields and the design of the AC generator to explain how a current of changing direction is produced in the external circuit.